I am unfolding the, the shared Nordic uh, history of race science. In this project, I'm uh, collaborating with Fredrik Swamberg, who is the head of research of the museum. I think that working with him has uh, actually opened many doors for this project, uh, which, which I, as an artist by myself, would have maybe not been able to, to open. The project is roughly from 1850s to 1945. Uh, it is about the, the race science practiced in the Nordic countries. Um, so it is, it is, uh, it is about the, the scientists and about the institutions where they were practicing this race science and where they were collecting uh, human remains. But it is also about, for example, about the skull collectors, um, about the artists who were collaborating with the race scientists and producing images uh, out of this theory and this logic of thinking. I think that the race science of those days had a, had a very big impact on how humans were portrait. So, so what was the Germanic, Aryan, uh, Nordic master race type uh, in comparison to people from other parts of the world? When a viewer enters a history museum, um, the viewer takes everything as a, as a, as a fact and does not question the, the information which is in the museum. So, so anything that you put in a history museum has a very different kind of seriosity than if you put it in an art exhibition. Yeah, if I, if I would show the same thing in an art exhibition, um, you might get people asking, is this true or is it fiction? Like maybe people would not believe that it is true, but I hope that that here in the History Museum people take it seriously because it is facts. So in this research, when we were going to different uh, institutions in Stockholm and elsewhere in Sweden and then in Helsinki as well, uh, yeah, I was uh, I was quite surprised. But so so we. We saw a lot of human remains, actually. So, so there are um, a lot of these skulls, for example, in in these storages. Some institutions have found boxes of of skulls and other human remains, and and now they are a bit puzzled with what to do with all these. I and also Frederick uh, do not see any value in in showing original human remains. For example, and, and also there's a lot of other uh, ethical questions that that go into what is being displayed. Somehow, I'm very interested in this this cross between that science and then the productions uh, uh, in art and other kind of visual visualizations, uh, and how they have possibly influenced uh, the ideas of, of what, what do Finns look like or Swedes or so, which um, I, I think that they have played a, a great role in that and still continue to do because, because many of those, uh, those uh, productions, those artworks and so, they, they, they are still today valued as, uh, as somehow national treasures. So, 
I think that it is very important to, to know the past and to know what has happened and what has been discussed in the past and what has been practiced in the past in science and, and how it has been leaking to other, other spheres like, like art productions, for example, um, because uh, I think that, uh, that somehow this history could repeat unless we are very careful. Thank you.